On a ride up the Harties Cableway in the Mahalisberg, George told us his climb to being a major strike weapon for Kaiser Chiefs began in Mamilodi. With five goals already in this season's Premiership, George is the tormentor of all teams, his old hometown club included. You're a man who's very busy. How do you find time to relax or just to recoup, rejuvenate and get away from the hustle and bustle? Yeah, normally go home, chill with the parents, just uh, have time with them because mostly I'm, on, I'm away in camps and with the team. So I just chill with them, with a couple of friends and yeah, basically just that. On a day's clay pigeon shooting, his friends thought he'd outscore them. Chiefs certainly knew his value when they offered him a contract within a week of scouting him. He called me, dude, can you go, uh, get my bag at my grandmother's house? <laughs> yeah. As I take his bag to where he was, that's when he broke it to me, he's like, hey, dude, I made it. I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, I'm serious. I went to his first game for Chiefs as well. That was very emotional for me. And well, how about you guys? I met him in 2004, yeah. We went to school together when we were playing together. He always had aspirations to, to be a big player because whenever we went to train, he wouldn't be there. And we'd call him and ask him, why aren't you at training? He was like, I'm, I'm trialing with this and that team. I'm making moves. He would be just, you know, doing his thing. What's it been like seeing his career blossom from when you knew him till now? We were actually opponents when uh, we were playing at a development stage. So to actually see him like grow that, that far and to, to see where he is right now is it's, it's incredible, you know. And it's just amazing that you should never stop dreaming. That's exactly what what uh, what happened to George. Okay, okay. welcome ready. guys ready. to laser clay pigeon shooting. Thank you. That's gun number four, gun number five. The button is switched off. It's backwards. Switch it forward. The gun is loaded. You get two shots per clay, just like a mouse click. One. Two, totally safe, just like a TV remote. Some of the guys weren't so sure. A natural sportsman, George seemed to know just what to do. Ready, pull. Gun number four, wrong trigger. That would have been our presenter. Well done, Chris. Welcome to the scoreboard. When George dropped out of his matric exams to go on a training camp, his parents were alarmed but supported his self-belief. You literally wear your heart on your sleeve. You're yeah. a man of soccer, football, you love it. Can you tell us about that football tattoo on your sleeve? Uh, this is a heart of a soccer ball. So it just shows um, uh, how much uh, sport means to me. I got my son's name here. Uh, only God can judge me. That's one of my first tattoos. I got a Jesus on my, on my neck. I also got it when I was, I was young. I think I got it when I was, I was 23 when I got my first tattoo. From then, I, then, I loved ink, I love art, so I've been getting more and more. Everyone at his club is aware of increasing calls for our finest talents to play in Europe and bring those lessons back into the Premiership and our national game. For the moment, however, George's teammates and coaches are delighted he's staying with them. Dealing with different personalities can sometimes be a challenge. What's your relationship with George like on and off the field? We're like friends and he understands when I'm like wearing the coach hat that he has to respect and be disciplined. You know, because he likes to tease me and I like to tease him also. So it's all about making jokes and all that, you know, but uh, what a lovely boy, very humble. And I must say that it's easy to relate to him. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very proud of him, how he has grown over the years. Uh, he's such a great player. He was even rewarded with the Bafana Bafana uh, caps recently. So he's been working very hard, he's been humble, and he's one of the best players currently in the country. So he just needs to keep up the good work and keep shining. Shaba, as a captain, you've seen what George is like on and off the field. How's it been over the years seeing him grow? Yeah, the boy is very skillful and talented. You know, he's one of the most skillful players in the team. And now he's, he's showing the big game temperament now. He's someone that we can rely on. And the good thing about him, you know, he works hard and he scores goals for the team. We've been speaking about you representing Kaiser Chiefs, but one of my proudest moments was when you got your first Bafana cap. Yeah, it was a great feeling to get to uh, share camp with uh, guys like Stephen Pinar. He was, he was the captain then. 
So for me, it was like a confident booster for my career, and I could really think that I can achieve great things. Well, me as a fan, and I'm sure the rest of South Africa can agree, we wish you luck for the future. Thank you very much. And we know that you're going to do well. Thank we you present, very much. Keep Thanks for running me. high. Cheers. Chiefs and Bafana know that if you give this man the freedom to get into the box, he will deliver goals. And that is the name of the game.